welcome to the program tonight I'm in a very spooky place uh, I've arrived at um, Rockley Engine House or a Rockley Engine Tower and Rockley Blast Furnace it's reputed to be very haunted don't know whether it is or not but we're going to see what we can pull out of the bag tonight I'm on my own so join me and we're in the middle of the woods and these woods are in the middle of nowhere and there's a lot of spiders webs Welcome to Rockley Engine Tower and Blast Furnace. Well, it's supposedly be very haunted, but uh, I'm on my own. It's in the middle of the woods and it's not in a great place. So I've come to have a look around myself. Now, I know one or two local ghost hunters around here have said there's no ghosts around here, it's not haunted. But a lot of people say different. So I'm going to try and find out whether who's right and who's wrong. I don't know. It's, I've never been here before, I thought I'd give it a try. And here it is. Rockley Engine Tower and Rockley Blast Furnish. We'll, we'll do them both together. So then, I'm in the actual engine house, the old engine house from the 17, uh, 1700s. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick scan round with the K2 meter, just to see if uh, I get any activity on this. It always helps. And I'll tell you what I've set up. Right, okay. Okay. What I'll do, I'll leave the K2 meter down here on the floor. Okay, I've set a music box up as well and three cat bowls on the floor and the music box is actually going off. It detects movement. Um, I've got to say there's very little wind tonight so it's on the doorway. If it does keep going off I'll move it on the inside here and it's going off again. So have we got anybody on the doorway? If we have, let me know who you are and uh, what I might do is actually move this to the inside. That's me moving that 
don't worry about that. Okay, so the cat ball's going off. And sorry, I am uh, trying to work the camera myself. It could be awkward when you're trying to do anything on your own. I've got the dead come on and uh, see if that brings anything up here. Irrelevant anyway to the place. So the music box has stopped since I've moved it away from the doorway. So uh, hopefully that will cure the problem. And if we do get them in any movement in front of there, that will activate. And we could be onto something. If it goes off again. The cat ball's just gone off. So I'll just take you around this. Hello, I'm on my own, all you can see is my shadow there, don't worry about that, it's about 15 foot tall. <laughs> so anybody with me tonight, I've been told this is haunted, I'm all alone, and hopefully you can come and join me, <laughs> come and say hello to me. We're not getting any, anything on the dead cam, so it's, uh, it usually comes up in fairly, fairly well batches, you know, four or five words and stops and comes back with another four or five words. And uh, you can see right to the top, hopefully there. Someone's been having a fire, there's a great, great big hole in the ground, so I have to watch where I'm walking in here. So anyway, come and tell me. Anybody with me tonight? I'm listening. If you want to talk through this uh, dead cam on the uh, phone here, it's supposed to give you the opportunity to pick words out. Now, I'll just stress that these apps are theoretical. Um, we don't know whether they actually work. But they're always great to use because sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. And uh, hopefully we'll get something that makes sense tonight in this old place so it's about 400 year old this place and there used to be a big engine it used to actually pump water out of the uh, the lead mine which was nearby so we've got rays we've got rays Okay, rays. I put it through the speaker so I can hear it. So then, I'll introduce myself again. It's Paul. I'm hoping that um, this place is haunted and you can come and see me, talk to me. You can hopefully let me see you. That'd be good. I don't think that's going to happen though, but uh, you never know. I'm going to try and find out whether I can pull something through. People have said it's a haunted place. One or two people said there's nothing here, but they have been coming in the daytime. It's rarely people come here at night. It's in the middle of the woods. The woods are in the middle of nowhere. There is a road nearby. So you might hear a little bit of traffic. And we're not getting any uh, any sound here, are we? So uh, we'll try a different type of thing. See what see what happens there. Right. Okay. I finally got the speaker working. So come on then, let's have some words out. Very, very quiet in here. 
very quiet. You're not saying a great deal. Would you like to come and set my music box off by walking in front of it? Poultry human. Poultry human. So what do you mean by poultry human? Tell me what you mean by that, poultry human. So, gonna keep the camera on the doorway, guys, and uh, Furtive, Mark. and see what happens. I think that's the best place because there's anything in here. It's already in here, so uh, hopefully we'll catch something coming through the doorway, whatever it may be. Right, furtive Mark. I don't. Know, I don't even know what that means. So my name's Paul. How about you giving me your name? Give me a name which will help me... I don't know. It'll help. Relied on. Relied on? It doesn't mean anything. Can you tell me something significant about this uh, Rockley engine tower, please? Basically, how long have you been here? Is it really haunted? You come and tell me. I want to keep the camera on the doorway. The cat balls that I've got out, by the way, are brand new. So I've never used them. These are the first time tonight. So we aren't going to need duffies. I wasn't happy with the old ones, they was going off quite a lot and uh, so I replaced them with some new ones and these haven't gone off at all, apart from one, that's only gone off the ones. So walk into the cat ball please. Set the cat balls off on the floor. Wanted. <laughs> Wanted. Alright. Who's wanted? Tell me who's wanted. Do you want to show yourself? Do you want to manifest yourself in here while I'm alone? I will say one thing about this place. It is a scary place. It's not really a place you want to come alone. Um, I'm just doing a quick video, so I'm not going to be too long here. I don't want to be uh, here for hours and hours because uh, it's not a place to be on your own in the middle of the woods. So I thought I'd give it a quick try and see what this... I, would, well, I wasn't even going to bother with this place, but uh, with what I've heard, it's, it's probably not even haunted, but uh, it's a mixed reviews. People say it is. And more people actually say it is haunted than they're not haunted, so you have to give it a little go. Okay, wanted. That was your last word, wanted. What is it you want? Or what is it you've wanted for? I want you to come and talk to me. Come and give me some indication you're here with me now. Throw a stone. Throw it at me. Right, I'm just going to twist the camera, guys. Right, okay, last chance saloon. 
You're going to tell me if anyone's here with me now, or am I just going to walk to the blast furnace, try there, and hopefully get something there? Because it's very, very quiet here tonight. Right, okay. Ah, right. The music box has gone off. Okay, have we got company? There's no wind, the music box has just gone off and it's facing the doorway. That's the sense of it. It's facing the doorway, not facing my way. So if that's you, thank you for that. Can you move the cat balls for me? Can you please move the cat balls for me? Can you set the music box off again? If you walk by it, it's got a sensor on it and it'll pick you, pick you up. It'll pick movement up. And that includes yourself, whoever you are. Scanning round guys. Okay, so we've had one cat ball go off and the music box go off on the inside. We'll not count the doorway. And the dead cams, well, pretty dead to be fair. Not bringing anything on. Right, okay. So this is Rockley Engine Tower. Not getting anything really. Um, the music box has just gone off. It's great. All good. One of the cat balls went off. The brand new cat balls. That's good. The other two near the doorway haven't gone off at all. And the dead cam's been very quiet. So I don't know. I'll give it a three out of ten in here if I have to rate it. Is it haunted? At all. I don't know. I don't know. Right, I'm going to down to the blast furnace. I'm going to give, give it a shot down there. See you in a bit. Right. Just need to watch my foot in here, guys. Just approaching the uh, blast furnace. There it is. Okay, I've set the gear up already earlier. Now the uh, the cat ball's going off. Okay, got a cat ball there as well. Got the music box down there, and I've got a cat ball on that entrance there. Okay, we have the dead cam on as well. And it said nothing at the moment, so let's have a let's see what happens here. Okay. I'm inside the blast furnace. It used to be a huge furnace in here, it used to uh, melt the lead. And uh, transport it to wherever it needed transporting to um, many many years ago the very very rare monuments like this it's an ancient monument and they're very very rare in this country 
I mean, I don't think there's many in this country at all. More? Very few. Okay, more. So what do you mean by more? What are you saying, more? Right, I'll introduce myself down here. Okay, I'm Paul. That's my name, Paul. I've just been up to the uh, the engine tower and uh, it'd be very, very quiet up there. Nothing significant. So what about down here? This is a little bit more out of the way. Got two entrances and I've got one at the back. That's three entrances you could come through. With no roof. It would be very hot in here one, uh, one day. With a big furnace in here. Probably had two big furnaces to be fair. But oh, that's all a long time ago. Now I know people have got killed around this furnace in the past. So can you tell me please? Are you here with me now? Can you walk in front of that music box there? Or the cat balls on the floor? They'll pick you up and let you know that you're with me. So one of the cat balls has gone off. But it's not enough evidence for me that. I need evidence that you're here with me. His hit. His hit. No. Fee. Fee. Okay, fee. And. And. And what? That's A N D and. Higher rate. Higher rate. It says her rate. Her. Does it mean higher rate, her rate, or higher rate, or her rate? What's that actually mean, her rate? Okay, let's put the, vo uh, the ghost talker on and uh, see if we get anything more through that. Okay, I've actually put the necrometer on. Uh, might, might get some better. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> put the text on as well. Okay, move south. We're actually uh, south of the tower, if that means anything. So come on, let me know you're here. Come and talk to me. I'm a ghost hunter. I need to see a ghost tonight here. I need you to be with me tonight. Come and join me, I'm, I'm very friendly. I'm not here to harm you in any way. Come and say hello to me. I'm just showing you a lovely building that's still standing after all these years. I'm all alone tonight in these woods in this creepy building on these creepy woods Jacob. Jacob okay we've got a name at last let's work on the name Jacob Jacob are you with me tonight 
You know, it's an advantage tonight, me being on my own. I had to come and see you. We've got mixed references about this place. Most people say it's haunted. One or two say it isn't. So what you're going to prove to me tonight, that it is haunted, if you come and set my music box off in front of me, the cat ball's going off, look. Thank you for that. Thank you for setting the cat ball off. Okay, now, there's three cat balls. There's one up behind that one, and there's one in the other doorway. Can you set the other ones off for me, please? Be very good if you can do that. Can you throw a stone? Try throwing a stone at me. What about setting my music box off? It's got a sensor that'll pick you up. Okay, one ghost detected. So my my necrometers detected one ghost. Where are you? Come and tell me where you are. Feel a breeze. But we are open to three sides. There's no wind really. Okay, one ghost detected. Where are you? Have we really detected a ghost? I'm just going to walk round out. That's me setting that off. Don't worry about that. Okay. You can hear the music going off. That's what you need to do. You need to walk by it. And set my music box off. Walking round the back of it, mate. See, if we could see out. Looks like the old part of the walls are still there. Didn't see that coming in, but it is pitch black without the lights. Okay, I'm getting through the back. Expand, that was the last word said. Expand. Okay then, we're gonna have to close this down. We're not playing ball tonight. We had one cat ball go off. The music box has not gone off. The red body set up as well over there. Yeah. No, exactly. Well, I'll wait and see. Oh, and then the cat ball goes off. Okay, I'm going to wait and see, but I haven't got long. So if you're going to join me, come now. Walk inside of my music box. That's it, set the cat ball off. 
Thank you very much for that, that helps. Yeah, so the cat ball's going off. You see, it is the same cat ball. I always get a little bit suspicious when the same cat ball keeps going off and when the others don't. So when two goes off, I get a little bit more, well, excited. So we need you to set another cat ball off, not that one. Go to the other one, down there, with my fingers pointing. We'll set that one off, or in the other doorway, down there. Right, I've, waiting, I've waited to see. We said wait and see. I've waited and I've seen nothing. You need to walk past that music box. Go on, walk past the music My object. Your object. Well, I'm seeing no objects, I'm seeing nothing. So I'm going to wrap it up, guys. You've had the chance to join me. Yeah, anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, this place, I'll give two out of ten for Hauntivity. Right. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this place is in the, in the middle of the woods. It's right out of the way. There is a road there, uh, just outside the woods, and um, the woods is in the middle of nowhere. There's no houses around here, anything, no estates, nothing. It's very, very quiet and very, very eerie. It is eerie. It's not a place I want to come to regular, but it has to be done. So I've done it. And I'm not convinced that this place is haunted, I'm afraid. So, I'm not convinced that this place is haunted at all. You've had the chance to come and talk to me. Throw something, do, do anything. For the last 30 seconds I've got. So I know you're here. You can see out in the woods there. Right then, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for joining us on the channel. <laughs> lethal. Nothing lethal about this place, I'll tell you now. Anyway, Tans and Son, uh, thanks for joining me on this episode. It's a local place, it's about 10 miles from my house and uh, uh, a well-known place to actually for ghost hunters to come and do visuals, that kind of thing. But uh, I've come tonight on my own and... Uh, I'm not finding anything really. So we'll call it a day and I'll see you again on another chance. Peace.